All right, this is William LaHaye's deck for the Pro Tour. It is a five-color deck, and it's different from other five-color decks I played before, mainly because of the main deck, Sunfall. I haven't played these decks with a lot of main deck mass removal, and it kind of makes sense. Because, you know, you can control the or early board with Archangel of Wrath and, you know, Ossification. Then you can also Sunfall if things get out of control. But then, once you get to the late game, right, you can Atraxa or Herd Migration or Atali onto an empty board and then you just win. So it seems like it gives you a really big hedge against a lot of the creature-based decks or decks like Grixis where... They can play a bunch of problematic stuff that, you know, Archangel might not be able to kill. You kill them all, and then you can go with your big threats, right? And Leilai Binding is also just absolutely amazing. So, let's see if that works for us. Boom. Play first. Okay. This may have been a mulligan. <laughs> uh. But we'll draw land, right? Yeah. Easy game, everyone. <laughs> oh. Well, I might as well. Have discarded a Traxa, right? Because it literally doesn't matter. Because we already got one in our graveyard, so that might be a uh, my bad. Yeah, uh, we kept a bad hand. This is all on me. Blue, we don't have a black mana. I think, everyone, we should probably just concede. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Um. Oh, maybe Tyrannix Rex is where we want to be. It can't be countered, right? So we don't have to really worry about our opponent's make disappears, I think. Play first. Okay. We can go for red. Black. <laughs> Invasion of Almond Cat, okay. That's going to go to one. All right. Blue. Green. And this not being countered is fantastic, right? So we can just attack.
enormous. Alright, Itali, let's go. Maybe I should have done that actually pre-combat, but, huh. Also, imagine only getting three. Another Itali? Oh! Hoping that doesn't mess me up. All right, opponent. Cruel. Oh, my God, everyone. Why so much cruelty? Let's draw. We can get an angel. One, two, three, four, five. Bam. Got him! I think the Tyrannic Rex is good. I think. Ugh. Hey, Tyran, how are you? Maybe we just don't need the Sunfall and we're just Italian. Oh, but... Oh, Hearse is fine, though, right? Yeah, we kind of want Hearse as well. Maybe we can get rid of the Rex now. Uh. Yep.
What a disaster, everyone. Discarding one, two. Oh. We want a uh, one, two. Just, we need our opponent to not have a counter spell, right? Ah, uh, beautiful. Well, we don't have anything you can take, opponent. Sorry. And I know that upsets you. Does this feel good, everyone? I need to know. Don't counter my attractor, please. Yay! It feels right, Frick Hackman. Thank you. Um, Froggy, my... If you find out... Hey, Metal Mario. Oh my god, Mario. Hey. If you find that you're plateauing... Um, it is... If you're able to, I always try and suggest... Asking yourself why you think you're plateauing. Right? And, uh, cause that will help a lot with what's going on and everything. And what you think is going on with you and your abilities and skills as a player. Um, because do you think it is your, are you a good drafter? Do you find that your decks are good or not? It, like, could that be possibly why you're not improving? Right. Yeah, yeah. Uh so there's that and recognizing if you are or are not a good magic player. One of the things in that when I've worked with people before is that it is very I don't know if it is even considered surprising at this point. Like if you watch a lot of streamers, how many people will um, complain about stuff like variants and your opponent getting lucky and everything, when if you're watching them play, they've thrown away the match by playing poorly and missing really good attacks and stuff, right? Well, and also, so a good thing too is, I mean, you can always join my Discord, uh, I mean, there are also other limited discords, but, you know, posting your limited decks and figuring out, uh, you feel so seen, I mean. Uh, and, like, trying to figure out, oh, is this the best way I could have built this deck? You know, could I have done something differently? 
So 17 lands is something that you can download when you play on arena and it real and it like just what does it even do? It like records your what you draft, how you draft compared to everyone else. Um I honestly think a lot of people I think I think telling people to play to look at their 17 lands data to get better is not a good thing if you don't know what it is or what that means right i i think 17 lands is very very overrated for a lot of things it's only going forward only going forward sadly Yeah, no, if it records your gameplay, though, and look at it, yeah. It, like, recording the gameplay is is always a valuable thing. But, like, you don't need the 17 lands data for that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you or like, I know a lot of people who like just record with OBS and stuff like that, right? Or a screen capture, but yeah. But also, like, looking, I think looking at your games also doesn't really matter much unless, you know, you have someone else looking after you and talking you through what you could have done or done not done differently right because if you're not a good player looking at your own stuff it's very very hard to like objectively be like oh i could have done that or could have done that you it's possible for some people but i find that to not be the case right more often than not yeah no no i always like again if you really really want to get better coaching is something i always uh, suggest for people. I should open up my Metafy Metafy backup too. Hmm. Uh, we need something for this. Uh. Oh no! A disaster, everyone. I probably should have just crewed an attack. But, like, do you also play constructed? Do you find that you're plateauing in constructed as well? Right? Because that is also another part of this thing. Because also, a reason why a lot of people plateau in limited is just limited is also very expensive. And a lot of people can get to, like, plat or whatever. And then you're also, like, just stuck there, and so you can't keep on playing and playing and playing, right? Um, oh, Jace can deck us. Ouch. Only with the little commander? Okay, yeah. So, um, you know, one thing that I would suggest then, right, is I think watching... Ooh. I think watching limited streams is really, really good. There are some streamers who are really good at, if you know how to ask actual proper questions, uh, some people are very, very bad at asking questions to uh, streamers. And if you know how to ask cor uh, correctly, you can get very, very wonderful Um results and answers but not the nerdy steve oh i wish sometimes i feel like i would just be i talk about this all the time i'd be a much more successful streamer if i just ignored chat 90 percent of the time because apparently that's what magic players like but you know what do i know
Red. Please don't counter me. Uh, is the opponent going to counter this with make this appear? Well, um, so why, why do you want to, what does that mean, right? Because you shouldn't be drafting three colors unless you should be drafting three colors, right? Like in mom, you probably shouldn't be drafting three colors, <laughs> right? Huh. I messed up. Probably should have kept that land. White, green, black, yeah, fudge. Emotions are distractions. Focus on the facts. I mean, so why are you under that impression? And is it true? I don't I, I'm not under that impression. But, you know, also one of the benefits or one of the ways people need to get better at magic, right? And this is something I always tell people is everyone plays magic very, very differently in ways that make sense to them, right? And your own specific play style is going to impact how you value and how you use other cards, right? Yeah, um, so, I, and, like, for me, I'd be like, I, so, why do you think that, like, is it actually something that happens? Because I, I think you're very, very wrong here. Of course, that is just my, like, opinion, right? But that is not how I think the format works or is good and what is successful in there, right? I hate Breach decks, by the way. Oh, so that... Do you know I think I, when I was playing this Breach deck, I was wrong. I don't think I was really seeing that as a way to just deck your opponents. But apparently, it is. I mean, Froggy, it, it depends on the format, right? That's what they're just so much going on there it you cannot really say what you should or shouldn't be doing right that's it's that's not really like just how drafting works right in my opinion it i would say it's important to play the format uh understand its nuances what's good and what's not good what are people finding success with, right? If you are unable to look at a set and after a draft or two, figure out what is good or what isn't good, that's when you go and look at other streamers or other limited content creators or 17 lands data to figure out what people seem to be having success with, right? And it, like, those types of things really depend on the color or the car the context of the format and just so much other stuff going on, right? I think this is a terrible matchup for us. This specific Grixis deck. One. And not attracts the right. Ugh. A disaster. 
Because the only, I don't like really consume any limited content at all. The only thing, I watch a couple of streamers who play limited. But I really don't pay attention to what they're doing, honestly. And then uh, on Twitter, what I, the, the thing I do most on Twitter is I will watch, I thought like, there are a couple people who, um, DeFore is someone who will, uh, post a lot of his seven win decks and so people who post like their seven win decks that is something i like to look at right because then you can see what type of things people are having success with and i think the seven win de decks give you a much larger picture of what is good in the format And then you'd be like, oh, I actually didn't like this card, but oh, in this context, this card kind of made sense. You know, and stuff like that. And I think learning the different archetypes is just much more valuable. Imagine me only being on limited podcasts and not even constructed podcasts. What a freaking disaster, honestly. So disturbing. We're going to deck ourselves, everyone. Four cards in hand. Who's winning the Stanley Cup this week? Uh, the Devils. Armada. Easy. Okay. The salty boy is our opponent. Am I going to the game on Sunday? No, I am not, sadly. The big game? The Leafs might have a shot. No. They do not, sadly. I wouldn't get your hopes up for a Keckman. Imagine having, imagine having hope though, must be nice. Let's just do this. If our opponent has a counter spell, they have a counter spell. Interesting. We get to bring in what is the big creature, the green one that can't be countered post combat or post board? The T Rex.
Oh, the most trivial things? Yeah. Is it the fox, which is like the most annoying one? Or like one of the dogs? I did not think that would ever resolve. The bat the most annoying. Imagine finding anything annoying. Not me. Oh, Barrage. Nice. And then Rex. I think we can get rid of Itali. Is not particularly good. Mm. Done. Do you consider anything? Also, oh, everyone, I pulled like a muscle in my back the other day. And every time I take a deep breath, it hurts. Should I be worried? Yes, no, maybe. Do I need blue? I think so. Return it to your hand, please. Oh. That's not very poggers, everyone. Um, thank you. Cause I like, I, I went to the gym today and like, I was able to like do exercises and it didn't hurt. It only hurts when I breathe. <laughs> and I'm like, Hmm. So I was like, I don't think it's that bad. But maybe it's even worse. Please don't have counter spells. Oh my god. Is this actually working? We might... Everyone, we might win! Oh no, never mind.
And there was a guy at the gym today where I was like, how do I get a body that looks like that? And then he did like a leg machine. And I was like, well, I'm not doing that. So sorry. <laughs> sorry, Steve. <laughs> I tried it once. It was really, really comical. Oh no. Misery Shadow, what an interesting choice. Is this limited? Wow. Some people like their mono black decks. Okay, Toran. Wow. Imagine you of all people being so judgmental. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Toxic. And it's okay, because I forgive you. At least you're not toxic. Interesting. Let's see what the tarot says, Toran. Let's see what the completely fake tarot says about that. <laughs> wow, well, you got Skitherix, Toran. That's interesting. Uh oh. Blight belly rat. Oh no. Uh-oh, everyone. This is not okay. Uh-oh, everyone. I have to say, um... We're at 18. That's so much life, right? Red and black. Diaz the Ocho. Nove. Nueve.
We're walking on sun for oh, oh and don't it feel good? I'm basically fluent. That was the world's worst Atali. <laughs> Opponent, why did you concede? We literally couldn't do any of that. But I'll take it. Ima ranking up Imagine? I've never ranked up in... Ha ha ha.